Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler. Got another short tip Saturday video for you. And in today's video, we're going to be taking this broken fishing rod and making something useful out of it. So stick around. Alright guys, what I have in my hands is a Muddy River flathead rod that unfortunately met its demise when something fell on it in the garage. So instead of throwing it out, I've decided to repurpose this rod. We're going to be making a spooling station that we can use, stick our reels on whenever we're putting line on them, and basically just give us an extra set of hands for spooling reels. So let's go ahead and get started here. You are going to need a uh, cutting device. In this case, I'm going to be using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, but you could use a hacksaw, just about anything you want to get a hold of. This fiberglass cuts pretty easy, but the uh, angle grinder is going to cut it fast. Let's go ahead and get everything moved into position. I'll show you how we'll cut this down, and then we'll make the rest of this, and we'll slap this thing together. Alright guys, after making that cut, this is all we have left of that Muddy River flathead rod. Uh, extends about three quarters of an inch in front of the reel seat, about five or six inches behind it. We'll set that aside. The next part of the project, what you're going to need is just any piece of scrap lumber. Uh, I'm going to be using some 1x3 PVC board that I had left over from a previous project just to use it up. And uh, You're going to need to cut two pieces of this. One roughly about four inches long and one about 18 inches long. So we'll go ahead and get this marked, we'll get it cut and we'll continue on. Right, guys here's our completed spooling station a little piece of all thread goes through there so let's go ahead and get this set up we got a Abu Garcia reel here we're gonna put a little bit of line on all we'll do is tighten that down we'll take our spool
there we go. We've got a spooled reel. We didn't have to have any helpers. And it all went on pretty easily. Alright guys, there we go. Our spooling station is complete. We've got our Abu Garcia reel all spooled up with fresh line. And uh, we didn't have to have an extra set of hands to help us spool our equipment. So, uh, guys, what we did, we took a rod that otherwise would have gone into trash, repurposed it, and now we've got a spooling station. Guys, you could get as fancy as you wanted as far as your crossbar here. You could add some nuts, some washers, and uh, tension that. I prefer just to hold the line with my hand in front, a little bit in front of the reel. But, uh, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one. hope this one helps you out. And if you enjoy projects like this, take a moment to subscribe and check out that Short Tip Saturday section, guys. I do one of these videos every week. It's a short, about five or six minute video. Got a fishing tip or trick, and uh, we can come up with stuff like that. Guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching the Weekend Angler.